Today I was going to talk about what we were talking about in class in terms of a recap for last Monday. It's on basically getting inspiration or inner wisdom when you meditate. And I'm kind of thinking about when you sit still and you've been meditating for a while, listening to that inner voice to gain wisdom and insight about things in your life. And a lot of times what I'll do is I will just consciously ask for this wisdom, ask for insights about different areas of my life, whether it's relationships, issues that I have, trying to understand philosophical or spiritual concepts better, why the world is the way it is. And this is sort of the ancient wisdom of the sages. They would sit and seek wisdom while meditating. So this is what I'm talking about. Now, when you ask for wisdom and guidance, you have to have a certain expectancy that you will get it. And sometimes you may not get it the first time you request it and sit for it. Sometimes you might get a piece of wisdom, but not get the whole thing. It may be something that you're going to be gaining insight for for quite some time. You'll get a piece here, piece there. And then over the years, possibly, you'll gain greater wisdom and insight. But you have to have an expectancy. You have to have a belief that it's possible to hear from this inner voice within. And what is the inner voice within? Well, you could use different ways of expressing it. Sometimes it's just having a clear mind and it's your mind in a relaxed state, being able to think more clearly and you can sort of work through issues easier. That's an aspect of inner wisdom too, is just having a clear mind which you can while you're, you're meditating. But I think you can go to deeper levels where you sort of hear the deeper part within your soul. Some might call it your higher self. And you can hear from that and gain deeper wisdom and insight to what you're wondering about. Sometimes I think it can be at a more, you might say, universal cosmic level. You might be hearing from what I would call God. Others might call the source. But you're hearing from uh, a power that's larger than yourself, that's more grand in scope. I think that's also possible to hear from. And if you're a religious or spiritual person, sometimes what you can do in meditation is you can gain more insight and perspective on issues of your own faith you know like if you're reading a text from scripture you can meditate on it and sometimes greater wisdom will come whether it's from the deeper part of your soul or if it's from god or just having a more clear mind and so it can help you understand aspects of your faith better there was a scripture that says, um, be still and know that I'm God. So in the stillness, sometimes we can hear what we need to hear from a divine source. And this is something that maybe you would do quite uh, several minutes into your meditation. You don't want to be like, okay, close my eyes, do a few breaths and like, you know, <laughs> talk to me, you know. It might be something that you might want to be several minutes in. Maybe you've done some visualization and affirmations and you've went through different meditative exercises and now you're at a point where you can listen for deeper wisdom. And, you know, when I first started, um, I would hear sort of an external voice, and it would be out here. And 
you know, I, I personally think it might have been God and sometimes my higher self. I think your higher self, me, this is me personally, is connected to God, you know. Um, I think we're in the image of God. But sometimes the voice was external out here. And that's generally how I would hear for the first few years of meditation. And I would gain wisdom and insight about so many different things. It could have been a relationship. could have been something I was studying, questions of life. Why did I think this way or that way? You know, and I've had hundreds of different wisdom things that I've gleaned over the years that kind of like, wow, where would I start to say what I've gained wisdom on? You know, sometimes it's grand issues, but sometimes it's small issues. But that external voice eventually tended to stop. Occasionally, I'll still hear an external voice. Now I hear the internal voice, the voice within myself, me speaking. I think it still may have divine or deep soul wisdom. I think it still does. But it's not necessarily that I hear it out here as much anymore because I'm ready and able to hear it within here. So that externalized voice may have been what I needed at that time. And when you first start, maybe you'll hear more of an externalized voice that seems like it's more out here. But then eventually, over time, it may go inside and it's my own voice. And I think, don't worry about whether it's internal or external. Um, this focus on gaining wisdom. And one thing to, to, to point out, too, is that the voice of wisdom, as I believe and understand, always is in accordance with love. So if it doesn't feel right, if it doesn't seem to sort of jive with how you would understand love and compassion, you may need to go deeper and seek um, more clarification on it. You know, because I just want to make sure it's clear that love is sort of the litmus test of how we understand wisdom. Um, so, you know, like those people that are like, I heard God go tell me to kill a bunch of people. Yeah, that's not the inner wisdom we're talking about. If you're telling you to do something that harms other people or is not in accordance with love, just forget that. That's not genuine wisdom from within. It's not wisdom from God. It's not wisdom from your deeper part of your soul. It's not even wisdom from a clear head. So just make that point clear. But this is something you might try in your meditations. It's just ask God or ask the deeper part of yourself to reveal greater aspects of wisdom. Ask questions within your meditation. And that can be a really good thing. 